So today's video is going to be posted on a Saturday just because I'm filming on Friday night. I wanted to make sure to have a memorable video for you guys. So here it is guys. We did $700,000 in TVL in just under seven days. That's incredible. It's incredible feat for the community. I mean, it's clear that the Warren community is here to stay. And there's so many more things planned for the future and I'm just excited to see this develop every step of the way. So congratulations to the community to surpass another crazy milestone. 700,000 is nothing to sneeze over. You know, the team applauds you as this tweet says. So if you are one of the Warren investors, please leave a comment in the comment section below. I mean, guys, this is very exciting for me. And I'm pretty sure it's very exciting for you guys because this is a pulse chain printer that's ending the year on a right note, right? We're, we're December 22nd today. Christmas is on Monday. The New Year's is coming next week. I mean, what better way to end the year than with Warren Finance, right? So I'm gonna go over these statistics very quickly here so we can see that the TVL is $722,000. That's crazy, $722,000, right? That's incredible. Everybody's making 2.9% per day, right? On my uh, 186,000, I'm making roughly $165 every two days, right? So that's a pretty good amount that I'm making every two days. So I'm going to go ahead and click on rebond. I mean, everybody's strategy is different, guys. If you guys want to be uh, holding for a while and then selling, you're going to lose your hold bonus. But at the same time, you could take some profits if you want. That's completely normal. What I'm going to be doing in this instance is that this account, I want to grow it as much as I can, right? So I'm going to go ahead and rebond. You guys can do whatever strategy you think is best for you. This is what I'm going to be doing. Turning 165 into 215 because that includes the 30% bonus. Click on rebond and approve it with your Ravi. Just get a few seconds. Perfect. Transaction completed. It turned into two Warren tokens. Woo! Two Warren tokens, baby. All right, so you guys can see that it's not showing up at the bottom over here. And the reason for that is because if you go to the bond tab, you can see the bond right over here. Okay, so this one created right now is going to end on January 21st, 2024. Now, just going back to the statistics, because I want to make sure to cover this. We're making 2.91% daily income on our uh, total bonds over here. So that's pretty awesome. There's 2% as a base. Liquidity is at 0.54 because of the 722,000 in total liquidity. And the whole bonus is 0.35 because I've been holding, I haven't sold once. And I just keep rebonding when I want to, and then just stake with the remaining amount of balance that I have, right? And then my personal bonus, as I said last video, is 0.02. Now, um, a reoccurring question that I get all the time is how come I'm not able to stake a bond that I currently have, right? So if you guys see over here, my bond that I just rebonded right now is worth 13,846 Warren tokens, right? If you want to stake that, you have no other option but to add an equivalent amount of LPs to match this amount over here, okay? So right now, the LPs, the DAI WPS LP is what one Warren token is. I have right now 13,846 warren tokens or warren lps and the only way for me to be able to stake that is to have an equivalent balance in lps now if i go ahead and click that you guys can see it's going to match it automatically okay so once we approve the bond we can go ahead and stake it right but once you click on stake automatically you get an error message at the top of the page because as soon as i rebonded my 165 dollars worth of lp it added an extra 30% because I'm bonding it for 30 days. So I need to take that into consideration if I'm going to stake because I need to add the amount that I rebonded plus 30%. And then that's the amount of LPs that I need, which right now is 13,846, roughly about 2,500 more LPs or 3,000 more LPs that I have to add in Warren tokens, okay? So that's just something to keep in mind. So right now, because I do have only 
10,379 LPs in my wallet. I can't stake it. So I'm going to keep holding until I have enough and I'm going to stake that bond. I can just leave it there, right? I can make this in a strategy where every time I do a rebond, I stake. But maybe once a week, I get to do a rebond, leave it there, and then that's going to give me a paycheck in a month. I could do that if I want to. But I feel like it would be a better option for me to grow the Warren tokens that I have and then earn from it on a daily basis 2.9%. That's just my strategy. You guys do your own strategy. Obviously, I'm just trying to give you different ways to do your different uh, 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 moves on cryptocurrency dApps. But everybody can do whatever they want to. Okay. Now, guys, before we end today's video, I just wanted to cover something very, very important. The Warren team actually just did an AMA yesterday night. So this was very fitting in terms of a seven day anniversary for the for the protocol, right? So the guys behind EMP money are the people that also are behind SparkSwap. And you guys know that SparkSwap is the latest partner of Warren Finance. Over here at the top of Sparks, um, over here at the top of Warren Finance, you click on Bridge. It's gonna take you directly to Spark Swaps Bridge, which is amazing. Very, very low fees. Uh, actually, the the cheapest fees uh, in bridging and to uh, to Pulse Chain. So you guys should definitely check this out. TVL on the website right now is just over 5.5 million, which is crazy for a protocol that's been active for so so many months. But the people behind Spark Swap, I mean, guys, just a bullish bullish group of people, and um, they love the fact that they're here to to support Warren Finance, right? They're excited about this partnership. And they explicitly said that they have a big amount invested in the protocol. So I just wanted to show you exactly what AJ, the lead developer behind EMP Money, lead developer behind SparkSwap, and many, many other dApps. I think um, uh, L1 Dex as well is, is their uh, protocol. So coming from a place of experience and and um, and dealing with nomad and math for a long long time i'm very interested to see what aj has to say about warren finance what his thoughts are and i wanted to share this segment with you guys because i feel like you guys would be interested about this segment as well if you guys want to watch the whole thing i'm gonna link this ama in the description below it's an hour and 40 minutes but the part about warren finance is in the first 15 minutes just blast through it it's a it's a, it's a really good ama you guys should really listen to it, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and mute my mic. Well, and some very special guests to kick things off. So uh, thanks for uh, having me, AJ. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Uh, for kind of a bit of history, you know, I was AJ on board with me when EMP was about to launch. So we're together, pumping stuff together, for sure. surviving through all the all the fud at EMP. So. I've always had AJ's back from, from day one. And we go way, way back years ago. So I got into DeFi way late 2018, been through different projects, so. Okay guys, so I had to pause this segment here because if you guys heard what Nomad said, he's been doing projects with AJ for a long time. They went through it since 2018, I believe what he said, right? Nomad has been in the space since 2018. I th and I think Max said in the AMA that no, uh, that Math has been in the space longer than that, right? And I feel like AJ knows Math as well from a long time ago. So knowing that the team has been around for a long time just gives me a peace of mind, right? It just gives me peace of mind to, to know that I'm putting my money in a protocol that's been tested and... Well, not really tested, but a protocol that has a lot of experience backing it, right? When you're talking about a project like Brick by Brick, for example, right? It's backed by a construction company that's been in the work for 20 plus years. It, it's a tangible asset that's covering all losses that could happen in cryptocurrency, which hopefully is not going to happen in our cases. But... When you're talking about a team that's been there for a long time, it's just something bullish in my opinion. So basically UI guy, I'm going to UI and UX design. I've been doing this for like over a decade. And DeFi is just something that really caught my attention after the Bitcoin boom in 2017. So back to Warren. Uh, Warren is just uh, basically like, like Max explained, Warren is just a major improvement on the Carol fork. We just thought, okay, what can we do to improve on Arrow, which being like an IRI type of contract, how can we improve on it? How can we improve on its shelf life? 
then you know, basically the whole idea of reapplication uh, also for me stems from my conversations also with AJ when we we're talking about the designator contract and I was asking him about reapplication and how the yield on designator was being reapplicated back then on um, pancake swap. So I've, I've had that idea in mind for a while going forward and then my discussions with the dev also, after we had back and forth discussions for months, he said, it's a no brainer for anyone who's making a DAP to not add, uh, anyone making a DAP and not adding replication is just me missing out on a ton of rewards. So that basically, in essence, as a summary, was what birthed it, uh, Warren, Warren Protocol. And, and just like um, Max has really basically explained, uh, Warren is a safe protocol. You, uh, if you're getting into Warren, plans is to the entire ecosystem, who's also big at ecosystem. Review, guys. Both. So that's one thing I need to let you know. Yeah, no doubt, Nomad. Again, great overview, guys, both of you. And yeah, I uh, Nomad's been an OG again, uh, holding you know through this entire journey at EMP uh, and many other protocols that we're involved in together. And uh, you guys said it best. I mean, there's a lot of key things in Warren that I like. Uh, that's that's much different than Carol, and in my mind, is going to add to the longevity. I mean, at the end of the day, it is ROI DAP, um, but as long as you're having, you know, new revenue, which again, the rehypothecation is the same exact concept we do at SparkSwap. Okay, so there's the first thing that he just said, okay? So he said rehypothecation that the Warren protocol is doing is actually helping as an exterior source of income coming into the protocol so if you guys don't know in my last video i talked about rehypothecation and why i think it's one of the key metrics that's going to help us uh this in this project right it's one of the key uh, protocol mechanics that's going to help us in this protocol because you're essentially putting up six hundred thousand dollars and you're making three hundred thousand dollars in extra revenue right those are not the exact numbers, but I'm just estimating because I don't remember exactly what numbers I spoke about last time. But imagine right now we're at $730,000. When you're taking $730,000 and you're adding, uh, I don't even have my phone. When you have $700,000 and you're taking 40% of that for the year, that's probably another $400,000 that you're adding to the protocol to do buybacks, to do to add to the treasury, to do marketing. That's a lot of things for development of the protocol, right? So that's something that is so bullish. We covered it last time and now AJ is doubling down on it. And let's listen to the rest of the interview because this is very, very bullish. And this is going to be the segment that I want you guys to listen to because it's the one piece of information that really stood out to me. And I feel like a lot of the people that listen to this interview actually got the message. Um, uh, with a lot of our farms that are still on Pulse X, we use the ink rewards to support our native token. And in our case, you know, we reward through the sparkler. Uh, but here at Warren, you know, they reward through again support of the actual uh token and ecosystem. So, um, and you know, there's a ton of really great videos on how to get involved. Uh, again, tutorials, strategy. So, I don't want to take too much time. Uh, actually showing how to get involved um, and then you get a little bit of bonus tokens so the math uh, that you have to actually pair uh, again it's not necessarily one to one um, so just make sure you know you follow I think uh, 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 Moonshot you Max did a great video so again guys this is another part that is very important the education is there everybody's educating in this in this ecosystem right marketing has been there since if, even before day one right so we've been marketing this project for a long time because we see the longevity behind it and uh i see warren as being the last honestly the last ry dap i'm getting into in 2023 because i don't see the need in getting into any other one and uh, quite frankly for you guys to know a tip from me if you have a certain amount of money you don't want to put it everywhere right if you, if you want to maximize on the gains yes you do dabble in plays here and there but you also want to grow a certain amount of bag right so uh, what i do is i i try to find the right projects and invest in them and right now i'm honestly down to maybe like two projects maybe three projects like our wide dab type style that i'm invested in that are actually helping me out otherwise all the other projects i'm not even touching because it's really hard to find something that's very trusted and because i'm so 
uh heavily invested in the team over here i'm not seeing myself going any other way and one thing that he also touched on but i'm not going to cover this because now it's it's uh it's a it's in a later part of the video he basically says yes it is a two percent roi dab but people have to keep in mind and I, I didn't even think of it that way because that's actually super sustainable it is a two percent roi dab but it's not an unlimited two percent roi dab it's capped at 175 percent right just like other projects that i've been in they give you 300 percent max they give you 200 percent max they give you 72 percent per year it's capped right even though you're making two percent you're gonna get up to 175 percent in the warm protocol so it's not like you're getting up to 500 percent it's not unlimited and there's always a way to make it work out in a way that's that sustains itself and with the rehypothecation max mentioned in the interview they're able to subsidize other parts of the ecosystem to make sure that the 175 actually makes sense and uh, increase it from other forks that offered 150 percent so overall i feel like the ama came at the right time just a day after that we reached over 700,000 in total liquidity it's incredible i mean the community is gonna probably keep rallying we can see big numbers in the next couple of days as well so i'm hoping i'm hoping and i'm crossing my fingers that for christmas we're gonna be around 800,000, and my estimation is by the end of the year we're probably going to be somewhere around the 1 million mark and it's totally possible it's totally possible guys because other protocols have done it and the whales are starting to notice because as you guys saw the tvl increased by 100,000 in about 24 hours so the whales are starting to notice and it's only a matter of time before warren is in every single telegram all right guys so i'm super pumped for the latest milestone i hope you guys had a great day if you guys have any question on anything that i would that i discussed today please leave it in the comment section below so guys if you would like to get started in warren protocol i've mentioned this before but this is a special uh, gift or reward if you want to call that i'm doing until the end of this year where if you are going to sign up under my link i am going to send you back half of the rewards that i do get so please go ahead and use my link if you would like to get started if you have questions about the protocol before you want to get started please reach out to me telegram twitter i'm available all time uh anywhere you want to reach out to me i'll be i'll be available even by email if you want to but that's it for today's video guys if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below thank you so much for watching like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video